What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Let's be honest, we're only here this week to get to Friday and listen to Drake views from the six. And I wanted to kind of discuss like our expectations. I would love to hear you chime in in the comment section below. But here are my expectations for the album. This is going to be Drake's biggest album yet. He's never had this much hype in his entire career. And if you look back at his album releases, they have all been very hype. They've all sold millions of copies. They've gone, uh, they've spawned several singles, a lot of classic records, but nothing to the extent of where he's at with Views. Views is like his, his highest peak. And, you know, like looking at the rollout, Drake originally announced Views from the Six in 2014. And since then, he's taken detours. He's never done that with the album. Once he announces a title, then the album's coming next. But with this, he's dragged out the, the hype for Views for the Six. And in a good way. Because you got, if you're reading this, it's too late. And then what a time to be alive. He had his Apple deal. He has OVO Sound Radio. So he's he's been able to capitalize off of everything he's done. He's turned himself into a meme with Hotline Bling and the Views cover. So he knows exactly what he's doing. And that's why he's at the height of his career right now. And I just want the album to reflect that. I want this to be some of Drake's best music. Um, a lot of people have been saying, like, he needs to have a classic album. This needs to be his classic album. I would argue that Take Care is his classic album. Um, there's really only like one or two songs on there that I don't like, but for the most part, it's a very stellar album, and yes, I would argue that it's his classic. But I understand, you know, where people are coming from with views. It has so much hype, more hype than Take Care, Nothing Was the Same, all of that. So it needs to kind of reflect that in the music. I think thus far, it's a little underwhelming. Um, you had Pop Style with The Throne, Jay Z, and Kanye with. Jay-Z only doing two lines, and then you had um, One Dance, which is going to be a number one hit single on Billboard in, like, the next week. When you think about Drake's about to release his album, you look at, like, 20 songs. He could essentially have most of those songs in, like, the top 20. I'm sure all of them will hit the top 40 on Billboard, but top 20, he will definitely hit that for most of those songs so i'm looking at like him d dethroning designer after one week and one dance being a number one single with you know whatever else is on the album to follow but the one song that i i do think will grow on me a lot more if it's on the album is controller with pop can um it's a leak it's not official and it's an unknown if it will be on the album but i like the record a lot i like the vibe of it and it also kind of got me thinking, like, Drake, with this album, could essentially, like, try to take over different genres and just over, like, the whole music world. If you got records that are hits that could be for R&B, hip-hop, reggae, you know, whatever else genres he decides to explore, you know, grime, he could essentially have hit singles for the next, you know, year or so. Cause, and then, like, certain songs can affect different areas. Like, if he has a grime song with Skepta on it, then that could be a big single in the UK. But regardless, Views is going to be huge. It's going to get the attention it deserves. I just want the music to live up to the hype. Um, as far as guest features, I haven't really thought about it as much as, um, you know, I, I would like to. Um... I kind of got excited when there was the news that Kendrick Lamar might be on the album because it's good to see them kind of squash their differences and come back together and make uh, a potentially great record, especially with both of them kind of being at the height of their career. But at this point, they're kind of like polar opposites, so I'm wondering what the subject matter is going to be that connects the two, if the record does happen. Um, I definitely want to see some of the you know OVO sound artists on it. I want to see like... I'm, we're going to get like the influence from the sort, certain ones. Um, I think Majid Jordan would be a good pick. Just because they had a lot of great records on their album. And I want to see them kind of carry that over into views. Um, and then like other guest features. I don't know. 
it's really a toss up. I, I just I think with guest features, I want to see Drake do something that A, that he hasn't done and B, just have some guest features that are good. I don't want anybody that feels unnecessary. Um, you know, I, I get the whole Jay-Z part, but I, I still feel like it's a letdown. Like, why isn't there more Jay-Z? What is the story behind him just doing two, two lines? Just two. I'm, I'm kind of like wondering if that was Drake or if Jay said, you know, this is what I'll give you. I don't know. But I, I just want to see something different and good guest features in terms of that. And in production, um, I just want to... I don't know what I want out of production. I think I'm going to skip that section. But overall, like I've been saying, Views is going to be his biggest album to date. So you can check back later this weekend or the top of next week and I'll have a review done for it. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, do it now. And then like this video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share this video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And definitely let me know your thoughts on Drake's views from the six in the comment section below. I want to know what your expectations are when it comes to contents, um, features, production. Um, do you think this album has the potential to be a classic? Um, judging off of like the singles and the rollout so far, let me know in the comment section below. And then, until next time, peace.